Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about shortcut pastry, sweet pastry to be precise. Over the next couple of weeks I've got some great recipes to show you guys for new desserts, tart cases, sweet and savoury. But before that, let's get straight into the sweet cross pastry. Let's do this. So the method I'm going to use today is the hand method, or the rubbing method. It's great for getting a feel for the pastry and making sure that it's not overworked. You can use a food processor, although I recommend that you use this on burst or pulse instead of continual, otherwise you'll find the pastry is overworked and then it won't work out. So first off we're going to require a mixing bowl with 250 grams of plain flour. I'm going to mix in a tablespoon of sugar as I'm making a sweet pastry. If you're using the pastry for a quiche or a savoury dish, just leave this ingredient out. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, and now we're going to leave the bowl to one side until later. So next up, we're going to need around 100 grams of unsalted butter. Now, the key to making pastry is to keep everything as cold as possible. Cold ingredients, cold hands, and a cold environment. But I'm going to show you a small trick to help you incorporate the butter into the flour. So first, we're going to lay a piece of baking paper on the worktop. Next, we're going to add our block of butter and then a separate sheet of baking paper over the top. Next, we're going to use our rolling pin to start to compress the butter between the two sheets to around 10 millimeters thick. This will make incorporating easier into the flour without increasing the temperature too much in the mixture. So next, we're going to bring back our bowl of flour we used earlier and we're going to start breaking up the butter into the flour, ready for incorporating. The motion that I'm using for incorporating is almost like dealing cards, pushing the butter through my fingers to incorporate it into the flour. You'll know the mixture is ready for use when it resembles breadcrumbs. Now we've reached the stage that we will start incorporating the liquid and turning our breadcrumbs into... So now I'm going to use ice water to start incorporating to our mixture. Start by adding one tablespoon at a time. I'm going to use a palette knife to start incorporating the water into the butter and flour mix so that I'll keep the mixture as cold as possible. I'm looking for all the mixture to clump together at this point. I'll stop adding the water, normally three tablespoons is enough, but you may need a little more or less. If you're using a food processor, remember to use the pulse setting. Next up, we're going to take the dough out of the bowl and place it onto greaseproof paper. I prefer using this to cling film as it stops the pastry from sweating. We're going to wrap it up into a small parcel, ready for putting in the fridge. The pastry should be left in the fridge for at least two hours but ideally 24 hours before removing and being used for whatever purpose you require. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our little video showing you how to make short crust pastry. We're going to be using this pastry in our next video showing you how to make a chocolate tort. If you've got any comments leave them in the boxes below, give us a subscribe and a like and we'll see you on the next video. But until then why not check out our bread making video, you can find the link here. See you guys soon.